Hey, it's Brian Mudd, and this is my cheat sheet for Monday, October 1st. Okay, so the check could be in the mail if you are a victim of robo-signing in Florida uh, from like 2007 through the end of last year. Now, you don't, don't even necessarily have to know that your paperwork was handled improperly or that there are other mistakes made by the lender. What you do need to know, and I gave you a heads up on this originally, you would have received um, a little over a week ago an index-like card from the state of Florida that would have said that your name came up and it looks like you might be eligible. And then, by the end of last week, it looks like uh, the notices were going out Thursday through Saturday throughout the state of Florida, you should have received a, st a claim form in an envelope from the state, from the Attorney General's office, Pam Bondi. So you need to make sure that if you receive these things, you pay close attention to it because there's a claim form there. And all you have to do is check a couple boxes, sign your name, uh, you know, appropriately for whatever your situation was, and they'll tell you an amount on there that you would be paid. At least it could even be more, but it'll be a minimum of what they say on there. There's a way to get it done online too. But if you just toss it in the trash, well then no check for you. Uh, so pay close attention uh, to those claim forms. Amazon's getting into a new line of business, and they're doing it very quietly. They're getting in the business of lending to small business. Uh, Amazon has a lot of its uh, business anymore through lenders, through retailers, through all sorts of businesses within their Amazon store itself. And one of the ways that they think they can grow is by allowing smaller companies that do business with Amazon that sell direct to you and me to have access to more money to have more inventory to be able to do even more business. So Amazon is going to be lending money to small businesses. There's a way and I have information about it on my physical cheat sheet uh, to make a claim to see if you could end up getting a small business loan. Now here's the thing. It doesn't look like it's going to be extremely cheap. Not that most small business loans are. Uh, but it looks like the going rate from Amazon if they go ahead and lend you money is in the neighborhood of 13%. So uh, see if you can find other cheaper options before you go this route. But if you do need uh, some money for your business, especially selling through Amazon, this could be the way to go ahead and get that done. Medicare is going to be changing rather dramatically for the hospitals today. In fact, more so than ever before, hospitals are going to have an incentive to make sure that uh, your parents, once they are uh, in their hospital, don't come, come back again. About 20% of all pa uh, patients on Medicare go back to the hospital within a month. And part of the health care reform law that goes into place today is that there can be a penalty of up to 1% of all Medicare payments with hospitals that have a lot of patients that are coming back in the new law's view too soon. And that penalty will go from 1% to 3% over the course of time. Now, here's the thing about that. Over 60% of all hospitals already would be fined from the federal government. The average that it will cost one of these hospitals, just over $120,000 per year right now. And obviously, at 3%, that number would go to over $360,000 eventually. Uh, so this could end up having an impact on the way in which you're treated. Because remember, the hospitals are going to have every incentive to try to keep you from coming back which is a little bit counterintuitive, isn't it? All right, uh, an economist. You know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and it's true even when we're talking about the economy. You see, uh, if you've wondered why some economic reports you'll hear sound vastly different, sometimes it's not just consider the source, sometimes it's consider the gender of the source. On my physical cheat sheet, I'll have more information, but basically men and women just see the world differently. Even economists that are men and women. For example, women are far more likely to say that government should play a bigger role in helping drive the economy. Whereas male economists will say, overwhelmingly, that it is not the right thing for government to help getting involved in driving the economy. That's just one of many different differences. But uh, we see that the economy, even, can be viewed much, much differently based upon gender. All right, that's the cheat sheet for today. Plenty more on physical cheat sheet. Enjoy yours. We'll see you tomorrow.